Welcome everyone to Devo's Weed Chronicles. I am the man, the myth, the legend, Devo. How you doing? Hey guys, if you ain't never been in here before, please hit that like button, then the subscription, and the bell. It would be greatly appreciated. Woo! And if you ain't never been in here before, man, hang on tight, man. We're in a weed channel, okay? It's cool. <clears throat> and for all of you OGs, please! You know who you are. Oh. This is a story that happened to me. I hope you enjoy it. I know you're going to laugh at mine. I know you're going to laugh at me. It's okay. It's all right. I can handle it. This happened to me when I was a kid. Well, not a kid. I was... 1920. <clears throat> the year was 1980-something. A friend of mine that I was going to school with, I wasn't very old. I was probably, I was going to say barely 16. Maybe, I, no, I wasn't 20. Hell, do I need to start this over again or can that be edited out? Probably not. So we'll just keep rolling. I was in high school. The reason why I say I was younger than that, 19 or 20, is because I got in trouble. So, yeah, I think it was a 16, because I got two stories going on in my head at once. I was 16 years old, guys. Still living with mother and father. Well, anyway, my friend, man, he had this, he met this girl at some kind of function that he was at. <clears throat> and me and him played baseball together, man. Golfed, fished, hunted, you know, so we hung out quite a bit. And uh, he was telling me, telling me about her and you know and i had a few girlfriends you know at 16 i'd had a few but um he was like yeah man he's, she's got a sister man um uh, they're twins but they don't look alike and uh my we've been talking a lot about you i've been talking a lot about you know you to her my girlfriend and she's been we've been talking back and forth about how funny and stuff some of the crazy crap you do you know and she's wanting to meet you and i'm like really what she look like oh she's nice what Oh, she's nice. I said, man, what's your girlfriend look like? Oh, she's nice. I'm like, wait a minute, man. So I seen his girlfriend and I thought, hmm, man, man, okay. Well, we go to the neighboring town or wherever these girls are from. I don't really don't want to say, but we get up and uh, I meet them. Well, I look at her, man, she, she was okay. Yeah. I mean, not okay. She was hot. All right. But, <clears throat> you know. I go, you doing? One of them deals. She's like, hey, look, you're cute and all, but I have a boyfriend. This is just a one night stand. I'm fixing to rock your world. Word, high five. So we go, and my, my buddy rents a motel. And, wow, you know, definitely wasn't no farm girl. I'll put it that way. It's my first city girl, I guess you'd say. Wow. Anyhow, next day or so goes by, we're at school and all this. Buddy corners me up. He goes, hey, man. <clears throat> oh, so-and-so has been asking about you. Who? You know. Oh, really? Well, what'd you say? Wondering what you was doing, man. Asking all kinds of questions about you. Oh, really? Yeah. I said, man, why is she asking questions about me? She's got a boyfriend. No, she don't. She told me she did. He said, man, she's lying to you, dude. She just didn't want you to uh, fall in puppy love with her. Uh, what? Uh, okay, whatever. <clears throat> We're going back up. I'm going back up here tomorrow night, man. You going to go with me? I don't know, man. I'm not falling puppy love. You know, I'm just giving him a hard time. Said, man, come on. Go with me. It'll be best for you to go with me, man. We'll hang out and go to movies and whatnot. Yeah, man, I guess, man. So I load up with him in the old Ch Chevrolet pick-me-up. Going up there, man, got the, you know, you know, looking dapper. We pull up, you know, and them girls were talking to and everything. I, thought, I told that one, I said, hey, I thought, thought we were just going to be, you know, she said, we get in the truck, we're sitting there, she goes, you know what? <clears throat> I thought about this. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> if you're not doing anything, man, hey, 
You don't go out? I'm like, well, I don't have a girlfriend, if that's what you're asking. I mean, you know, and uh, I I had uh, bit, I had got my car taken away from me. You know, my parents took my car away from me. That's why I was with him. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, uh, yeah, but, you know, I can't be up here every night <laughs> or nothing like that. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So, yeah, I said, well, yeah, man, but by the end of the night, man, I had a girlfriend. I wasn't really looking for one, but I had one. So <clears throat> a couple weeks goes by. Me and my buddy goes up and back and forth, you know. By this time, I got my car back. <coughs> I was good for a couple of weeks. My parents gave me my car back. Anyway, uh, the, me and him were up there, and she was like, hey, tomorrow night, I want you to come up here by yourself. Okay? Come to my house. And I'm like, oh, she lived right, you know, right there in town. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Never really been to her house. We pick them, she'd come out, we get in, go, as it, so my I'm like, I told my buddy I said, hey dude, she wants me to come up there, you know, more about you know it was I think it was a Friday or Saturday, it was a weekend had to be, and I said, man, she wants me to come up by myself. He said, I know, I know all about it. Oh, okay. He said, he just like you lucky. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. I mean, I mean, I done been with her. I, I mean, what you gonna do? Climb on the ceiling or something? What I was thinking. Pull up in the old Camaro, baby blue Camaro, man, I missed that, the rat mobile, oh, I missed that car, pulled up in there, killed it, boom, scoped it out, you know, nobody came to the door, the door, you know, the car there, get out, walk in, she comes to the door, hey, hey, I'm getting a hug, hey, her mother said there, watching TV and drinking vodka, and never looked up at me, uh, hey, mom, this is uh, Devo, Devo, this is mom, like that, she goes, Never looked up. So we go back to the bedroom. And I'm sitting there. And I said, man, your mom okay? She's, oh, man, she, you know, come on. So we're sitting there. And it wasn't two seconds, seems like. Her mother come in there. And she said, hey, I'm going to bed. Y'all keep it down, okay? Good night, Fred. Good night. I was over there in the bed. She's kind of kicked back on the bed. I go over and sit kind of slide on the bed with her. Handcuffs on the bed. Hey, these are kinky. Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, put the other one on. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> she gets up, prances around the room. I'm sitting there watching. I'm thinking, man, what is she fixed to do? Opens up her drawer or her closet. On the doors on both sides. Guys, I'm sure you've seen one of these before. Women's closets that has the shoe holders and they can put their shoes in. On this door, there was chains, whips, uh, oh Lord, all kinds of weird, nasty things that, <laughs> leathers, things, and spikes, and, and on this door, there was all kinds in the shoe holder deals was male parts that, some of them took batteries. Some of them had jumper cables on them. She goes over there, she pulls one of these little whip things up. <laughs> Ooh, I looked at her and I said, you better not touch me with that. She goes, you like that, don't you? I'm like, don't you, I'm, I'm cuffed, right? Don't you, you like that, don't you? No, I mean, I, it was freaky. I mean, it wasn't cutting in the skin like and making blood marks or nothing. No, these things were designed to make a snap, a pop, and instant pain with no marks. I'm getting my rear end whipped, man, with this thing. I'm just, oh, huh. Finally, I figured it out. I just shut up, didn't say nothing. If she said something, I didn't say nothing. I was like, oh, do you like that? And when I quit doing that, quit screaming. She goes, oh, my turn. I'm like, <laughs> come on, get up. And I rolled over and I'm like, got my stuff together. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, cat and I. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
You would have thought I was on a wagon train. Driving 16 white horses up a pass. She loved it. I don't understand that. I just, I just don't understand that. To this day. I left her there. Cuffed. Naked. Whipped. I climbed out the one and I never came back. Man, I left my jacket. Oh, well. Hey, guys, if you like these stories, yeah, I told you you'd be laughing at me. Man, she whipped me like I was a government mule. Like I was rented. Hit like, subscribe, guys. God bless. Look up. Never down. And keep smoking.